Uh, no, we have uh, the package of ham right here. <laughs> and um, so, um, shall we open it? <laughs> well, you know, we've got a lot of uh, response on the um, via Facebook. Uh, everything from uh, just eat it, it's going to be delicious, to don't risk it, you're almost home. You know, you don't want to die out at sea near the Cape Verde Island. And uh, we've concluded here that um, if we're going to do the smell test, and then we're going to do uh, rock, uh, scissors, stone, determine who is going to have the first bite and, uh, bite and see uh, whether it's going to go good or bad. The verdict is uh, uh, we're going to do the smell. So the, the, the comments have been varied, and uh, we're going to do the smell test uh, to see whether it smells right after 90 something days at sea. Yeah, I think uh, our, our uh, uh, business um, our way of, the, of um, deciding things on the boat is rock, paper, sun, so we'll just have to do that. Yeah, speaking about the trade winds, uh, we are wondering whether the Portuguese have uh, reinstated the death penalty on, uh, on telling people the secret of the trade winds like they had uh, in the 1600s. Because um, when we'll turn on the, the, the outside camera, you will see that there's uh, no such thing as the trade wind for us at the moment. And uh, maybe we have to put a Facebook question out as to where these trade winds are because they're not where they're supposed to be for sure. Well, uh, he's a fellow of the countryman, so I'm sure that he wouldn't, he wouldn't like to me. So, uh, no, we, um, you know, I, I actually went for, to school for this, so I should know where they are. And uh, I know that uh, the big low that is helping uh, guys uh, get to the finish is uh, disturbing the trades for us. Um, but they, over the next couple of days, they should be um, uh, building back up again and um, will be bouncing up and down uh, in, in stronger winds towards the finish. Yeah, by the, by the sounds of things. Huh? But um, yeah, we'll see. And then anyway, we're enjoying the, the lighter conditions and um, one thing that we do have to do is uh, is do a bit of a tidy up because on deck it's it's a mess with uh, both flying fish and lots of seaweed. So we have to uh, get rid of that uh, uh, because it's uh, it's rather smelly actually. Well, we're actually not counting down just yet. We uh, we uh, if we were to start counting down, we'd we'd probably get to zero and still be some distance from the finish. So um, <laughs> we're we're, uh, we're still counting up over 100 at the moment. Uh, somewhere around 110. That will be great. Yeah, that will be great, the 18th. That's the leading question. Uh, depends if our families are listening or not. Oh, we, we hope we're in for Easter, definitely. Um, you know, it's a big celebration and uh, a very special day, and we, we'd love to be on land for it. Yeah, the chocolate is not surviving the uh, trade wind failure too well. Well, the daily routine consists of... Uh, approximately three hours on, three hours off, and then at about uh, two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon we have lunch, and we sit around drinking cups of tea and talking stories until until dinner, uh, about uh, eight o'clock. So it's, it's quite a social afternoon, really, and then we get back into the watch system again. Uh, that's what we tell each other every day. This is what it's like in the real world. Well, getting through Gibraltar, uh, I, I'm not concerned about I've, I've been through 10 times and uh, quite a few of them have been really windy so we're just expecting it to be really windy and and uh, if it's not that's a bonus. Uh, as for being slow to the finish, it, it will be what it will be. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you know, the, the, the other sailing is uh, something that we are uh, very much looking forward to and, uh, and trying to follow. However, at uh, eight dollars a minute, uh, being online, it's uh, it's uh, not something that uh, that we can do ter uh, terribly much of. So uh, we just uh, rely on the, on the emails that we get uh, and the news that we get uh, from our team, which has been great. And um, you know, the outside world is is going to be a, a real surprise to us when we come to land. You know, it's, uh, apparently the, the half the world is on fire, and we're just sitting here. Uh, on our boat worrying about the flying fish, uh, whether the flying fish is going to hit us in the head, yes or no. So quite a, a different uh, reality that we uh, live here day to day.
uh, not when the flying pig. Uh, we, we are for sure desperate for, for any uh, contact with the outside world. Um, it's, it's one of the things that uh, it's something that uh, we noticed uh, on this long journey. You know, it's been a first for both of us that, um, you know, we are very isolated. And uh, in the end, uh, you know, we are um, uh, social uh, animals, um, social species with, uh, with a big need for um, human interaction. Uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, that was the point where uh, that was the point where I had to tell my wife, I'm not coming home in two days, but in 102 days. Maybe we can uh, drop him up there on the way back and he can make his Easter holiday. Uh, I think that uh, thinking of the Cape Verde Islands, I, I think a medical emergency is imminent and Alex Baddock has his uh, bag ready to jump on the plane. Great. Well.